to another click talk with me, Delage. Uh, basically where I just geek out about stuff for a little bit and shout into the void. Uh, existentialism. Well, uh, I just came from seeing Batman v Superman. Uh, I'm not really going to go into that just because this isn't a movie review site. But I did right afterwards go to the comic book store and bought myself a single Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice Hero Clicks Gravity Feed from the movie set. And the click that I got is something that I kind of wanted to talk about with you guys. And I'm betting you can guess who it is. It's Batman! This is the uh, rare Batman in the armored suit. Uh, the one that you can see in the trailers with like metal helmet and the armor and all that sort of stuff. The really big bulky one. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I figured I'd show this guy off, talk with him about him for a little bit, and just kind of go into his powers because uh, I just I might be a Marvel fan at my core, but I am a huge, huge Batman fanatic. It is I might be Marvel, but Batman's my favorite. So yeah, uh, let's get into it. All right, let's get right into it. We've got this Batman. Uh, his sculpt is very solid. Uh, I really enjoy the effect of the cape flapping in the breeze. That's just a personal preference more than anything. Um, he's, he's, you can clearly see he's wearing his body armor. He's got the full suit of just mecha stuff going on. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> not bad. Uh, he's got, he's 150 points uh, with two team abilities. I'll get into the team abilities in a second. Uh, for 150 points, this is something I'm kind of wanting to touch on. Uh, for 150 points, he's got to do something well, because pretty much no matter what level you're talking about, that's a lot of points to sink into one character. So he's got to be able to do something, and he's got to be able to do that something really well. Um, like, uh, Deadpool was just packed with so many powers and free regen and actual regen. That Deadpool was definitely worth the whole 149. Um, so for this Batman, we kind of got to see something very similar to that when we uh, go into his dial. Um, in terms of team abilities, he's got the Batman team ability and the Superman team ability. Um, in terms of a mechanics, game mechanics point of view, I definitely enjoy those two working together because uh, Batman gives him stealth. Superman allows him to ignore hindering uh, terrain for movement and line of fire purposes. So... He can move into the hindering terrain to hide. He can move out of the hindering terrain with no reduction to his speed. He can fire through hindering terrain at stealth characters or ranged characters who are hiding and getting the plus one. Uh, so in terms of synergy, that's great. I really love it, those two powers working together. In terms of a Batman who is in his, what I call Justice Buster, and from the movie Batman v Superman, uh, I kind of disagree with it on a fluff point, but I'll let it slide just because I really enjoy how well those two work together. Uh, he has a pretty basic dial. He's got Indom, which I, of course, love because it allows for willpower without willpower taking up his shield slot. So that allows for things like Impervious and Energy Shield Deflection to take its place, which is always great. He's also got a star ability, which is called Tell Me, Do You Bleed? <laughs> that was not good enough, but I'm going to leave it in anyways. Um, Tell Me Do You Bleed is when Batman hits an opposing character with the Superman team ability or the Kryptonian keyword, uh, damage dealt is penetrating. So all of his attacks become penetrating attacks, close combat, range combat uh, against Kryptonians and the like, which is great. Uh, considering this is a Batman who is pretty much dedicated to fighting a Superman, then it uh, really fits with his character. It allows him to deal lots of damage, whether you're talking about a Superman, or you're talking about the Super Doom, or you're talking about General Zod, anything like that. He's doing penetrating damage. It's great. I love it. Uh, moving on into his... Uh, oh, he also has a range of five single lightning, one character five squares away, blah, blah, blah. Uh, in terms of his powers, he's got three brackets, like I like to call them. Uh, it's like a set of powers that are all kind of dedicated and then kind of stay consistent throughout the set. He's got uh, a bracket of two clicks where he works one way, a bracket of two clicks where he works a different way, and then a bracket of three clicks where he works the final way. Overall, uh, seven clicks of life. He, For his first setup, he's got the only special on his dial called Billion Dollar Bat Plane, which is a really amazing ability. I'll get into it in just a moment. Uh, he's also running Penetrating Psychic Blast, which works really well. Uh, it's great that he is penetrating on all Kryptonians at all times, but um, 
not everyone's going to be running a Kryptonian. So having that Penetrating Psychic Blast uh, really opens up the penetrating damage that he can deal to, say, uh, Iron Man or a Green Lantern, that sort of stuff. It really kind of just opens up his uh, his attacks. He's not just great against Superman. He's also great against other characters. Uh, he's also got Impervious, which is obviously great. It's probably one of my top three defense powers. I think uh, Energy Shield Deflection and Invincible. Yeah, Invincible are above that. But um, Impervious is great. Uh, it definitely can help keep your click in the field a lot longer. Uh, unless the enemy is running outwit or penetrating themselves. In which case, uh, it's not as useful. But uh, still great to see. Uh, he's also got Outwit, which makes sense because this is Batman. And Batman should always have Outwit at all times. Because he is that is kind of his thing. Um, but moving back onto the billion dollar bat plane, that, uh, that means that Batman can use running shot and the flight ability and modifies his range value by plus three. Now that plus three, um, makes it as high as it can go due to the rule of three, but maxing it from a five to an eight is definitely great. Uh, combine that with outwit being a range ability, it improves his outwit, uh, running shot, improving his, uh, running shot ability is also great. Um, with his initial dial, uh, speed 11, with the roundup, he can move six squares, fire at a character eight squares away, and, uh, hit. He's got some power there. So, uh, Seeing that kind of synergy there, uh, the running shot, the flight allowing him to go wherever he needs to be, the penetrating damage on all characters with the penetrating second blast, range of eight. He's definitely a range character, and he's definitely powerful. He This is kind of what you need to see in a 150-point click. This is really kicking some ass, to be honest with you. But uh, he has that for two dials, and then he moves on to a decidedly more close combat dial. Uh, this one, his speed drops from a 10 to an 8, and he loses all of his previous powers. He instead has charge, running shot, and invulnerability. Uh, no special on the damage. So the invulnerable, it's a little bit weaker than the impervious, but he is kind of the armor's kind of getting worn down, so it makes sense. Uh, I'm not opposed to it, obviously. Charge, uh, he's moving into close combat, um, that's fine. Uh, charge, running shot, those abilities are great. It'd be better if he had hypersonic speed, but it wouldn't be realistic, obviously. Um, so having some sort of move and attack ability is uh, definitely a plus. Uh, having super strength means that if you're going to run this character, uh, at the beginning of the game, you're definitely going to want to put down uh, three objects. You pff, At 150 points, you can run um, super heavies, or you could run just anything. Um... But yeah, with a super strength character, you're going to want to run your three free objects at the beginning of the game. When Batman gets to this point and he loses his ranged ability, he's going to fall back, grab that stop sign, grab that car, whatever it is, and then use it to hit whoever he's going to hit with his charge ability. Um, overall, it's, it's a solid dial. It's not great, but uh, with the charge and the super strength enhancing him and the uh, invulnerability kind of helping him stay in the field, uh, definitely a solid uh, setup. Moving on into his next setup, he loses a lot of his power, in my opinion. He drops from an 8 to a 6 in speed. His 10 attack for most of his dial drops down to a 9 for his final 2, so he's not doing as much damage. Um, and his defense drops to a 16, which is very low, especially for a Batman. And he has uh, Perplex. Instead of an outlet, he's got Perplex, which is okay. Uh, you can use it to reduce the opponent's defense, uh, open them up to more damage, that sort of thing. That's always great. Um, but... Uh, to kind of explain sort of what happens, uh, his ability, Combat Reflexes, is titled After the Suit Comes Off. So basically what happens is in the battle, he's wearing the giant suit, and he's a tank, and he moves forward, and that sort of thing. Once he loses the suit, he's kind of, he's lost it. He is now out and just in his spandex and that sort of thing. And he's definitely got to be a lot more, a lot quicker on his feet and that sort of thing. Um... That combat reflexes, I definitely agree with. Um, combine that with his flurry precision strike that he has, uh, those definitely mean this is going to be a close combat fighter. If you get him into close combat, he's less likely to take the damage. His defense goes from a 16 to an 18 on his final two, so that's uh, better. But obviously, the person who you were fighting was able to do it once. They'll probably be able to do it again. Uh, the 9 damage I'm kind of opposed to just because it's a little low for my value, but uh, perplex is solid, and you can use it to kind of work things in your favor. Um, Flurry uh, definitely works well in close combat, so you definitely want to get this guy in close combat, have him use his multi-attack with the combat reflexes to keep him around, and the perplex to kind of tilt the odds back in your favor. Um, but yeah, that was my rapid-fire rundown. 
he overall it's a very nice sculpt um just from that alone i love it um considering this is probably sort of like a limited run sort of thing uh i definitely i definitely recommend getting this guy just because he's kind of awesome his powers like overall his dial it doesn't suck but it just doesn't seem right all the time if that's the right way of putting it like even even running the stealth there's ways around that as a close combat, as a very, very close combat fighter, um, he's not great. He doesn't have anything to kind of keep him around if he's not in close combat. If the, if the enemy's running heavy range and Batman's not in hindering terrain and he's exposed for like any moment, it seems like he'd just be way too easy to kill. I'm a little uncomfortable with that just on a personal level. Um, I would definitely run him a little bit more solidly if he was... Um, I don't know if he had something on his final dials that kind of helped him stay around, just like anything. But uh, his first two with the uh, bat plane and the precision, or sorry, the bat plane and the penetrating and all that outwit, that is definitely worth the value of this character, in my opinion. Uh, his mid-level charge is, um, it's not it's not something I typically run, but I could definitely see him fitting well into a team, especially since I have a tendency not to put enough uh, close combat fighters in my team, which leaves me very unflexible when I'm faced with somebody who's uh, also ranged. So I could definitely see him fitting in well. Uh, overall, I'd give him four out of five, I suppose. Yeah, four out of five batterings. Why not? Uh, he's, he's solid, uh, maybe a little underwhelming for the value, but uh, overall, definitely a click I would recommend having. Into the conclusions. Um, so this was my Batman. Uh, I, as I said, he's not great. Uh, I wouldn't say he was the best, uh, but I have a really awesome Batman that I've been uh, trying to record and shoot for that. Uh, this Batman is uh, one that I really, really enjoy. Just he's just awesome, and I'll go into him when I uh, when I get the chance. But overall. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that bullshit. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you didn't, leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear some improvements, some thoughts, and things like that. Um, subscribe. I'm going to be doing more of this, that sort of thing. And keep an eye out for my upcoming videos. I've got some unboxings. i got some battle reports. And I've got some more click talks. So, yeah. Until then, take care.